Hey everybody, I just wanted to post a video to wish everyone a very beautiful and happy new year. And since, you know, it's the end of a decade, I would do a quick recap of my decade. A decade in review. <laughs> or as Taking Back Sunday would say, a decade under the influence. <laughs> That's probably my decade before, definitely a decade under the influence. Um, <clears throat> so... Normally I write like some really long message on my social media on Facebook, but since I'm not on social media right now, I thought I would do a video since I will only be doing my video channel in terms of social media for now. So, um, 2019 is going to be over in just a few hours and we're going to be starting a new decade. Sorry, I have to hold this because I tried to find somewhere to put this phone and there's literally nowhere I can put it right now. Uh, everything just keeps falling because my cats keep walking into it. So I'm really sorry that's shaking. Hold on. I'm trying to think of like a way I can hold it better. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. So 2019 is going to be over and 2020 is coming. So for me personally, uh, this last decade has been so huge for me. It has been a massive... Um, so much uh, growth and change for me and really moved into my spirituality and my following my path I've changed so much and I basically um, so in the beginning of the decade um, it all started off with me making an, a little bit of a rash decision <laughs> based on you know my wounds and feeling incredibly hurt and I, you know, I made this decision and once I made the decision, all of these things started happening to me, including meeting my karmic two day, two weeks after I made that decision and cut this person off two weeks after I met my karmic and everything just kind of happened after that. <laughs> It's like the worst experience ever, but I'm so incredibly grateful for it because I really learned so much uh, during that time and it kind of shifted me into my awakening and stuff, you know, started six years ago when I watched The Secret on Netflix and I started living more in, in you know, mindfulness and gratitude and things like that. My karmic relationship really just caused so much destruction and it really forced me to go within and to make those changes and heal my wounds and and during that time is when i really started my spiritual awakening i started seeking um external things to help me with my healing i had to take accountability for the situations that i was in in terms of the relationships and connections that i was making and allowing into my life so i had to take accountability for that as much as i'd like to sit here and be like those people are fucking assholes and abusers and all this stuff you know I participated in that I allowed them to be present while I ignored all the red flags initially so so yeah so here I am and I went through all the spiritual awakening I went through there's so many changes that is that have happened you know I moved out on my own which was like a huge thing for me um, I worked full-time at my place of work took a full-time job there and and now i stepped down and i'm not full-time there anymore thank god um but uh you know i'm in school again i started the decade with ending school and now i'm finishing the decade with being in school again so i think that's really nice and um i'm definitely on my path now that i know that i'm supposed to be on I'm following my heart, um, my heart's desires and my calling, and I feel very good about that. And it's a wonderful thing. And I'm sure a lot of people uh, can't say that, which is sad. And I can say that I definitely was not, I was that person in the past. And I just had to go through a lot of upheaval and stuff like that. So my decade was tons of upheaval. And I've been around for four decades now, and I can honestly say that, that this has been the most uh, impactful decade of my life um, in terms of really um, learning who I am and 
and growing into the person who I'm supposed to be because uh, that was definitely something that I probably didn't actually do my whole life. I was, you know, if you knew me from before, it's very different from who I am right now um, in terms of like how assertive and vocal I am and um, just like not closed off. I'm very free flowing with my energy and uh, I'm very different and I'm very grateful for that. Um, I'm grateful that I can really um, show up show up for myself most importantly for myself because that's who I really want to show up for is for me because like how can you really show up for others if you can't show up for yourself so I'm showing up for myself first and foremost and um you know I did so much healing and it's been really fucking insane decade and um I do not regret any of it I do not wish any of it didn't happen I wish I'm glad that all of it happened because I wouldn't be where I am today if it didn't so I have so many valuable lessons and so many great things to take with me into the new decade and all those experiences all they've done is shape me into who I am today and I just I'm so grateful for that and um, I just if there's one thing you can take with you into the new decade and in the new year because most people are like oh you know screw 2019 like every year it's the same thing like oh that year was the worst fuck it bring on the new year bring in a new year but you know i really think that we need to honor not not be so quick to reject and and um and um that's what i'm looking for reject and discard our the previous year um because those the passes are the brick and mortar of who we are and it is it's all those experiences uh, have shaped us into who we are today and it's not something that we should you know just dismiss so easily and i i think it's important that at the end of the year and decade that you should honor and really celebrate like all those things that have brought you to where you are today and make that space to honor it and to really really just feel grateful for everything that has been given to you because every time life has something happens there's always something that it gives back to you and i know it might not seem that way when things are really shitty but it does i promise there's always something you can take away from it and you just have to be you have to be come in the mindset where you can see that you can see that and you can reach for that that prize that abundance that's for you and you can learn the lesson and it's always there for you i promise so in this new year to come a new decade the one thing i really 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 want you to bring with you is hope because despite how horrible things may be hope is always there just like the first sun ray over the horizon that comes in the morning when it's dark and the sun sets at night and you know it's really dark and you know gloomy night or something the next morning that sun's gonna rise it's always gonna rise nothing's gonna stop it from rising so we always have the ability to have hope despite how shitty things may be so take that hope with you put it in your heart center breathe in some beautiful source love energy and just bring that in with you bring it in with you as you step over the threshold into the new year bring all of that with you and so that all the abundance that is yours and all the new experiences that are yours for the taking are ready they're ready for you they're all ready and waiting for you i want you to go into 2020 with a hopeful heart and that everything that's meant for you will be for you and just i want you to know that you're deserving of it you have to believe that with every core of your being that you are deserving of it because you are <laughs> anyways i want you to have a beautiful new year i hope you have so many good blessings in fact i bestow upon you so many good blessings for the new year and the new decade to come i hope that all loose ends have been tied for you and everything is cleared i hope that everything is taken care of and it will be so just enjoy yourself and sit still don't worry about what you have to do i need to go and shower and get ready because i have to go home but i just wanted to quickly say uh that i love you and i send you so many beautiful loving blessings of abundance and love and light on this this completion of a cycle 
and have a wonderful evening. Happy New Year's to you and your loved ones. Goodbye.